So this is a very interesting question about uh, when you can use k nearest neighbor based uh, imputation of missing values and when you should not use it. It's a very good question that I think one of our students was asked in an interview set up. So let's look at it, right? Suppose imagine if I have one feature missing and I want to fill that missing value. We have discussed missing value imputation in lots of details in the course, like mean imputation, median imputation, model based imputation. In the model based imputation, we said we can use any model like k nearest neighbor to fill the missing value. So let's look at k nearest neighbor itself. So imagine if I have, let's say, feature i missing for a data point, and if I want to fill that feature i, what can I do? I can use rest of the features except feature i, right? And find out the nearest neighbors to this point which has the feature i missing. Now amongst the nearest neighbors, right? Suppose let's assume I have a data point, let's say uh, data point uh, x10, okay? So let's assume x10's fi feature is missing and I want to fill it. So I will use all the features except the ith feature and I'll find the nearest neighbors to x10 from rest of all of my data, right? Now, let's assume I got, I picked up the five nearest neighbors, let's just say, okay? So let's call those five nearest neighbors x1 dash, x2 dash, x3 dash, x4 dash, and x5 dash. These are the five nearest neighbors to x10, where excluding the feature i, because feature i is empty for the x10 point that we want to impute, right? Now, given this, now we have to be careful that the feature, the the top, the five feet, the five nearest neighbors that we got, right? They were nearest neighbors outside of feature i. So we are not using feature i to compute the nearest neighbor because feature i for x10 is missing. That that's what we want to impute or fill, right? Now let's take a step further. Now these five nearest neighbors, I'll take the ith feature in these five feature in for these five nearest neighbors and pick up the mean value or the median value or the central value. Because the, the argument here is these five points are close to my x10 across all other features and hence it makes sense to pick up the value of the ith feature for these points as the or, or the average or the mean or the median of the ith value or the ith feature value for these five points as the feature point for my as the fi feature value for my x10 also which has a missing value makes a lot of logical sense. This is called the model based imputation. Now, this makes sense, right? This makes a lot of sense because you're saying, okay, this point is, uh, is similar to the, these other five points across all other features, right? Which means its ith feature also must be similar to these values. Makes a lot of logical sense, but here is the catch. This may not always be right if feature i is different from all other features. If feature i is a unique feature, which is very, very different from all other features, or if feature i is fully independent of all other features, right? Here we are, we are imputing the feature i, right? Using all other features. But if feature i is independent of all other features, you can't impute like this, right? The very fact that feature i is independent of all other features f1 to fd basically means you can't predict feature i using all other values which is what you're trying to do using KNN, right? So the KNN based imputation or any model based imputation typically fails if the feature that you're trying to impute is independent of other features, number one. Number two, computationally, computationally KNN based imputation can be very expensive, right? That, that's a problem that you run into many, many times, right? So, uh, because for every missing value or missing feature for every point, you have to find the nearest neighbors, then impute using the nearest neighbors. The problem here is it can be very time taking, especially if you have large amounts of data. If your data set is large, KNN based imputation can take forever to achieve. Right? That's, that's, that's an important disadvantage. But if your data set is small and if your feature i is not fully independent of all other features, you can easily use KNN based approaches. These are a couple of situations where KNN works well or does not work well. Right? And this is a good enough directional thought. And we derived all of this logically. Right? There is no new concept we learned in this. So a lot of problem solving in interviews is about taking the basic concepts that we have learned and applying them.
right this question while while on the surface it sounds very hard if you go dig deeper if you think carefully step by step what is it that we are doing right then you can quickly say where it works or where it does not work right i hope this is clear now